Are you still wondering what Papua New Guinea tastes like? Well, let's do a taste test. So here's the box. I believe I'm pronouncing it right. One of my friends, Jackie, told me that it's pronounced Papa New Guinea. And this is Nespresso's newest release. Um, I know they have a couple other capsules, but they haven't been released to the US, so I won't be reviewing those just yet. This one, I was able to get my hands on. And a little bit about this pod, it's a level intensity five. And according to the box, it's the washed Arabica berry-based flavor. You can brew it as espresso, and I like the fact that you can brew it as a lungo or lungo. <laughs> Papua New Guinea isn't short on classic varieties such as Arusha, Tipica, and Bourbon. These gems from the past make an elegant cup, fine acidity with jammy strawberry notes. That sounds delicious. To bring out these unique flavors, our supplier lets the pulped coffee rest for two days before washing and drying in the high mountain sun. I really need to learn more about how they like roast it and like actually farm these coffee beans because the fact that you can get these unique flavors from the amount of time that it's on the sun and then you know before they get roasted is very interesting to me and it makes me want to just kind of look into it a little bit more. Let's see what the website says. Sometimes the website will like say a little bit more sometimes not but just from looking at their like little thumbnail right here papa new guinea is a limited edition capsule i did not know that i thought it was going to be permanent but it's limited edition it's a fruity and floral type capsule this one says espresso but the box says lungo too i'm sure once you click on it it'll it'll say that outstanding cup displays sweet fruit notes reminiscent of red berries and jam this is like so exciting. I really want to make sure I taste that stuff. Elegantly outlined by a juicy acidity and a velvety body. All right, so this is what they recommend. As it is the case with many of our limited editions, we encourage consumers to try this coffee black to be able to fully experience its rare profile. So I always taste this, taste tested black, although black coffee is not my preference to drink it. I really want to try and taste all those berry notes, so I'm definitely going to try try black and the fact that it's a level five is less intimidating let's brew this coffee i don't know if i give you like a close-up of the coffee box but this is it right here it retails for a dollar 20 per capsule so you're looking at paying about 12 dollars i suck at math i might be wrong yeah it has to be and then the capsule this is what it looks like right here very simple it just has the name of the capsule on top let's pop it in my machine i actually brought my Curtisa plus from the new house to the apartment so that i can make this taste test and i'm glad i did because this past weekend we didn't even go to the new house so yeah either way let's let's brew this <laughs> okay so here is the brew right there i could kind of smell some berry just even i haven't even like done this i just grabbed it and it smells kind of berry to me so i'm gonna mix the crema into the coffee just to get everything together it smells bright like not cyrano at all like it smells juicy bright i wouldn't necessarily attribute it to a specific like fruit or anything but it smells bright if you know what i mean okay Wow, not bad. That's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of black coffee, but I had no reaction to this one. It's very velvety smooth, just like the description says. And I could definitely taste like jammy, light, light strawberry notes. So that's awesome i feel though like as soon as we add milk all of that is going to go away so let's see what happens because sometimes with the milk the milk kind of mellows out everything and just makes it more of like a i don't want to say cereal like roasted kind of thing but you know it just kind of neutralizes everything this is pretty nice though yeah not bad i think the fact that it's a level intensity five is helping with that like bitterness let's froth some milk i'm gonna do chobani's zero sugar just because that's my favorite finally found it so let's let's do that 
I'm gonna do a little bit less than a half a cup because I only have one shot of espresso. While that froths, I wanna say I wish I had my Pink House Alchemy Strawberry um, Syrup because that one is really, really good. It's very like fresh tasting. It doesn't feel like synthetic or anything and it's not. Like they have a small batch like kind of flavor production. And so I feel like if I were to drink this black, just enjoy black, a dash of that strawberry syrup would be amazing. But I left it at the new house, so I don't have it with me right now. And the milk is done, hold on. Okay, so let's just put a little bit of milk. This would be the equivalent of a single shot latte. In case you're thinking that that's way too much milk. Give it a little mix. All right, let's taste this. This has no syrup at all, just the coffee and the milk. Yeah, it definitely mellowed everything out, but I still think it's nice. It's built, it's still like that nice kind of smooth. It almost reminds me of Bianco Leggero. There's no like fruitiness now. I feel like the milk just kind of got rid of all that. Pretty nice. Kind of, the second sip, you could kind of taste a little bit of like fruity notes, a little bit, but very, 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 very light. Um, I forgot what level Tocanto is from Virtual Line. That one is supposed to be a, I think like a pineapple kind of fruity capsule. It might be similar to that one, maybe a little bit. But with milk, it's not that bad, but I kind of want to taste it. Let me put the raspberry syrup on this and see how it is. One second. This is the syrup I have. It's from Monin. I'm just going to do a little bit. Oop. All right, let's try it. That's pretty delicious. Really delicious. Again, if you like black coffee, I think you would really enjoy this black coffee with just a dash of like a fruity syrup just to kind of elevate it a little bit more if you like a little bit more sweetness with your black coffee. Maybe even French vanilla would work. I'm actually out of my French vanilla. I had to order more and I'm just waiting on that order. But this raspberry is pretty good. I could see this working with like a white chocolate raspberry latte kind of thing. So again, I don't have white chocolate. I feel like I'm out of my favorites at the moment, but I'm trying to use up what I have because Lord knows I have way too many things. So I haven't ordered the white chocolate sauce, but either way, raspberry, Chobani oat milk, the capsule, Papua New Guinea, it's really good. All right, so I grabbed some of my little fancy, I don't know if you could tell, but they're little spheres. We'll just throw these. I have like seven of them. I don't know if I'll throw them all in. Let's see. It doesn't even matter, but I'll do one. Two, three. Just gonna mix it in so that it gets cold. Let's try it. It feels watered down. I don't know if it's because I just used too much ice, but it's also a level five. So usually level fives, I feel like they're more on the light to medium roast, which once you add ice cubes, you're bound to have a more light tasting latte. It's not bad. I still feel the coffee flavor, the raspberry flavor. It's yummy. It's just a lot lighter than compared to like, if you were to use a squirrel capsule or a Miami capsule. Oh my God, Miami is so good iced. This one is very similar to Dolce in like intensity after you put ice to it. So hopefully that helps. Not bad, but I think I like it more hot. So all in all, I think this is a very impressive capsule. I know a lot of people have told me that they're not fond of a fruity capsule. Like that's not your jam. So if it's not your jam, maybe just don't even buy it because I feel like it is fruity fruity for sure when it's uh, without milk and once you add milk it mellows out but it's also a light intensity capsule so also keep that in mind but i feel like i enjoyed it i do like a light tasting espresso from time to time sometimes it's not all about the strength and the you know like the caffeine kick um i feel like sometimes it's good to have these just in case you need something just kind of mellow just want a single shot of something light just to kind of satisfy a 
coffee cravings. So I think this is a good capsule. It's limited edition, so if you are interested in trying it after you know watching this review, keep in mind it's limited edition. I don't think it'll sell out quick just because I haven't really heard too many people rave about it or talk about it. If you do want to try it, just keep in mind it's limited edition. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I feel like I have more to say, but I don't think I do. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.